Hello, United fans. Sir Jim Ratcliffe breaks an important Sir Alex Ferguson rule in the latest Man United decision. But before we delve into that, let's catch up on some intriguing news about the club. Man United aims to sign Morton H. Jormand and Goncalo Inicio for £119 million. Sporting Lisbon demands £68 million for H. Jormand and £51 million for Inicio. They seek these additions to boost their defence and midfield next season. Despite a disappointing season, Man United's Kobi Mainu, a free signing, is now more valuable than Bruno Fernandes at £51 million. The 19-year-old has become a key player, showcasing his talent with five goals and three assists in 32 appearances. Alejandro Garnacho, valued at €45 million, Euros, ranks as the second most valuable Argentine teenager in 20 years, behind Lionel Messi. His strong season and international debut have boosted his worth, surpassing Sergio Agro at the same age. Casemiro, after a mixed season with Manchester United, embraces a new role at Marbella FC as director and shareholder. Expressing enthusiasm for the club's potential growth, he aims to contribute to their journey to higher leagues. Fabrizio Romano confirms Manchester United's pursuit of Benjamin Sesko. Despite competition from Arsenal and Chelsea, Sesko is weighing his options, including a lucrative offer from Leipzig. The race for the extremely quick striker continues. Romano reveals that United's deliberation over Eric Ten Hag's future persists. Amid meetings with potential successors, including Thomas Tuchel, the club's review lingers, while Marcus Rashford's uncertain future adds to the tumult. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Man United Way offers for Bruno Fernandes to raise funds. Fernandes seeks wage parity as his agent explores options, including Bayern Munich. Uncertainty lingers amidst talks, with Fernandes expressing commitment amid Rashford's value scrutiny. United plans talks with Jadon Sancho amid uncertainties. After his lone success at Dortmund, the club weighs options, considering a permanent transfer or another loan stint. The move reflects United's strategy of reshaping the squad for the future. Former defender Bakary Sagna suggests Arsenal pursue Marcus Rashford and Raphael Varane in the transfer market. Rashford's pace and Varane's winning mentality could be game-changers for Mikel Arteta's squad, potentially signalling a bold statement of ambition. Benfica's talented teenager Joe O'Neaves attracts Liverpool's interest, as Manchester United's bid fails. With a hefty $130 million price tag, his future remains uncertain, but Liverpool's long-standing interest could see them capitalise on Benfica's stance. Now, let's jump into the main news of the day. Manchester United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe is reportedly set to break a long-standing rule established by Sir Alex Ferguson. The 71-year-old has been making changes at the club, including ending private car access for most staff, requiring hybrid workers to return to the office, and cancelling corporate credit cards for department heads. According to the Daily Mail, Ratcliffe's latest move will bar staff who don't work directly with the first team from dining in the main training ground canteen. Instead, they will eat in a separate area and won't have access to the high-performance food meant for the players. Critics argue that this could further alienate United's players from the rest of the staff. However, some within Old Trafford support the change, believing it will reduce unwanted distractions. This decision contradicts Ferguson's philosophy of unity. He ensured that everyone at the club, from players to secretaries, dined together. Ferguson, in his book Leading, emphasised the importance of this policy, which he implemented when he took over the club in 1986. He wrote, I wanted the younger players to mingle and eat lunch with the staff, including the laundry team and groundsmen. It set a tone of unity and interaction within the club. It remains to be seen if Ratcliffe's changes will have the desired effect. His next big decision is the future of manager Eric Ten Hag, who is waiting to learn if he will keep his job next season as the club continues its internal review. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned 